Hello, ladies and gentlemen out that hurt. Welcome to the second race of the Task Car Shell Dirt Ringer Series Season 2. We are here at Orange County Fair State Ground. Fairground State. Orange County Fairground Speedway. That's it. Thank you very much. We are here for the second race of the season, uh, the Jamie's World 300. And with that said, we already start with our first story of today. Um, 19 car Debbie Myers is back behind the wheel. Jamie's World, don't know if you know it, it's on Facebook. And I think she also has a YouTube account, but I'm not really sure which is it. But on Facebook, she's really big. She has 1 million likes or so on her page. And she posts random stuff, really funny videos. And Debbie Myers is, well, big fan of her. So she also makes... Some of those videos herself, which are hilarious, I can tell you that. Um, so Debbie Myers, uh, besides this race calling the James World 300, which I actually uh, it was especially for her, uh, we want to say Debbie Myers, she, her birthday was yesterday, she turned 14. Actually one of the youngest drivers of my group, so want to wish her a happy birthday. I know she had, so Debbie Myers is still one of my greatest friends of all. And you probably done didn't knew that she's she's new to the sport, but real big friend of mine. Um, so that's story about Debbie Myers will make her debut in the series over here, um, as she was replaced by another driver last season uh, or last race, Edward Blomqvist. But Debbie Myers now back again in the car, the zero car. Your last race's winner, Prudence Little John. Um, John Cittadino was supposed to be driving this car for the rest of the season, but he just said, well, give Prudence the car for the rest of the season. He was certain about it. So, ladies and gentlemen, Prudent Little John will be in the zero car for the rest of the season. And I can tell you, she is one serious contender for this championship. She already won her first race. She's starting third position this time. But remember how it, how it ended last season? Christine Emerson had a great car. And she had great start of her season, was leading the points after two or three races. After that, all went south, and I think she didn't even finish in the top 20 points. So we'll have to see if that happens to Prunes Little John. We hope it won't for her, but you never know what's going to happen. Um, and then another thing we have to mention 24 car Nicole Tronovich. Uh, we got a comment from M Anna Gregg from uh, the Super Speedway race, which was at. Bump drafting, that's the racetrack. Um, she had two drive, two, uh, she was with three drives over there Anna Gregg, Nicole Tronovich, and Zachary Gregg. Zachary Gregg, what badly injured once again, will be out for the rest of the season in that series. So, um, best wishes to him. And also, Nicole Tronovich will be out for two weeks. Um, I'm not sure when she will be back. Well, I have actually made a planning on the injured people, I think it was the August 24th. That I've written her down, making her to return, but I'm not really sure. And well, Anna Greg goes over that. So replacing her, these few races will be. I hope I pronounced it right. It's a beautiful first name, but I really I've never seen it, and I hope that I pronounced it right. I think it is Cassie Spangler. Spangler, I know because well, there's a DTM driver whose name is Bruno Spangler. So I think it's Cassie Spangler. But it could also be Casey Spencer. But I think it will be Casey Spangler. And I may call her sometimes Katie Spencer. Because we had a Katie Spencer in the Phillips Cup Series last season. So Cassie Spangler, Katie Spencer. Okay, I think that was all we have to discuss. Though I'm not 100% sure. Nick Pericles, thank you very much. He uh, said that uh, I pronounced his name right. So that's fine. Great, thanks for telling me. I always like people to tell me if I pronounce their name right. Otherwise, I feel so insecure. So, oh well. And um, I think that there was everything. Oh, one more thing. Uh, I said that the 18 car was open because Jane Pinter got a custom car. Well, the 18 car first one to come to me was May Wilkins. And we have to apologize. I called. I thought that, she, that uh, May Wilkins was a male. A he, but I said a couple of times he, but... Apparently, it's a female, May Wilkins. Well, if I think about it, it's May is pretty much a female name. British race car driver. I think her, Brand her, her brother is called Brandon Wilkins, and he's ra racing in 
uh, Drew Austin series. But here it is, May Wilkins, female from Great Britain. Happy to have her in the series. And we go to the front. And I forgot who was on the pole, but it doesn't matter. Anna Gregg is on the pole, ladies and gentlemen. Time to go green flag here at Orange County Fairground Speedway. What a name. I just called it Middletown. It is a Middletown, but I'm not sure where Middletown is. Middletown, Ohio? I'm not sure. It doesn't matter at all. Anna Gregg on the pole next to her. Pass. He's his champion, Sean Howell. Man, Sean Howell, he is really having some great runs in the 38. Although last time he had a bad run, finished in 13th. Well, that's bad for him, especially because he was had a big chance to win this race. But, ladies and gentlemen, Anna Gregg in the 41 car will lead into the green flag, as we are green flag racing for the second time this season at Middletown. And this may the last season it was the race which had most cautions. And I'm expecting around four to five cautions as well this season. So it seems like everything is still going going fine for the first few laps as Anna Gregg is in the lead. Harry Hills has now made it to second position from fifth to second in one lap. That's a great job by him. Harry Hills flipped over last season or last race, uh, I should say. He flipped over, was the first flipper. No, he did not get any prize for that, but here he's closing the gap to Anna Gregg and he's trying to make a move. He will make a move soon as Jane Pinter now goes underneath Prudence Littlejohn. And he went from 5th to 3rd that lap. Hayne Klein is now in 5th position, now goes to 4th position, but the battle up front is heating up. Harry Hills, right behind the 41 car of Anna Gregg. Jane Pinter, Hayden Klein, and there Prudence Little John falling back more and more as also Dom Caps goes by her. Dom Caps with the hard break he had last race was involved in a wreck while leading and he retired from that and eventually he did not finish in the top 20. And look at this, replacement driver Cassie Spangler is making her way to the front in 7th position she was. I think she's now in 5th, 6th position, 6th I think. In the 6th position for her, as also Sean Howell is falling back, but we should check up front. As in weed, we have missed it. Harry Hills has taken the lead in the number 1 car. Last time it was the 0 car who won the first race, now it would be the 1 car to win the second race. Well, that would make sense. Except for that that would be a bad break for everybody who doesn't have numbers 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4 or 5, because they would never win. I don't even think there is a f number 4 so. As Jane Pinter in the 16 car is moving underneath Anna Gregg. Look at that. Jane Pinter in his custom made car by Joseph Nesto going to second position and charging to the front. Anna Gregg, Hayden Klein, Cassie Spangler, Dom Caps, Nick DiPolmo also in the top 8. Well, I said really British. Nick DiPolmo, uh, Mason Wood in ninth position, and there we got Joshua Michaels in 10th. That's pretty much. Shut up, iPod. That's pretty much everything has settled down, though. The zero car is falling back more and more. Prunes Little John, did we have a caution? The caution is out. Indeed, the caution is out. And it is because of. Sean Howell! I was wondering where he was. He? I was wondering. I was just thinking, where is Sean Howell? He must be fallen out of top 10 already. And his bad luck this season continues. He ran hard into the pit wall, ladies and gentlemen. First caution of the day, Harry Hills in the lead, and we'll take you now to the replay. Sean Howe was indeed falling back. He started on the outside pole. Man, I can't believe how much bad luck Sean Howe has had the past few, few races. Well, at least uh, he won a championship last season. In race 1 looked to be a great race for him. This has turned out to be a disaster after he uh, also spun um, coming out of turn number four it was and now going into turn number one Sean Howell going to drive a little too deep in there gets a wiggle and there he goes around which we're going to see I think more often and I'm not sure oh Prudence Little John got a piece of it Michael Krakander got a big piece of it and I'm not sure oh and we got more trouble well, he got hit by a couple of people. I'm, I was looking to see if somebody else hit him or if somebody else spun over there. Well, hard hit into the wall. Prudence Little John first, 
Then Michael Krakander. And then Debbie Myers in her first race. Well, pretty bad accident. Sean Howell getting hit three times. But I don't think it is... Well, it is bad damage for him. He ran into the pit wall later, but we'll get to that later. Here we go. Full speed from camera two. There he goes into the wall. One hit, two hits, three hits. I don't think that anybody else was involved in uh, a wrecking over here. Well, pretty much everybody was all right. So we'll go back to Sean Howell as he is going to drive around. And he's trying to get on pit road because his car is badly damaged. After those four hard hits. Oh my goodness, that was a hard hit. Oh my goodness. He ran it straight into that pit wall with fast speed. Look at that. Running. Oh wow, that was a hard hit. I hope that Sean Howell is alright because that looked pretty nasty. Let's see. We go on board with Sean Howell full speed now. Oh, you know what? Let's take the first incident with it. Get your onboard, here we go, Sean Howell onboard. Underneath down caps just gets loose, ouch, into the wall. One hit, two, three. Actually he got hit four times in total. Just, well there was not a caution, so. Well the caution had it come out, but that's just when you're, these dirt cars are pretty tough to handle. Especially when you want to dodge somebody. And look at this. Oh wow, oh my goodness. That was a hard hit. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Howell in number 38 car. Hard crash for him. First question of the day. We hope that he's all right. Harry Hills is in the lead and we'll take you to the green flag. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with Harry Hills in the lead. Sang in this Anna Greg. Jane Pinter in third position. Fourth, we got Hayden Klein. Cassie Spangler in 5th position, 6th we got Dom Caps, 7th Nick DiPolmo, 8th we got Mason Wood, 9th uh, Joshua Michaels and Nick Duncan in 10th position. Sean Howell has retired, well I haven't checked it but I'm pretty sure. Last car over here, you see Michael Crack under Debbie Myers, I think they, those two may have made pit stops, I'm not sure how bad it will be for them. Well bad break for Debbie Myers and Michael Crack on Debbie Myers, birthday girl. And Michael Krakander, well, he's not a birthday boy. I'm not sure when Michael Krakander his birthday is. I think it was also somewhere soon in October or so, or September. I don't know. Wake me up when September ends. Ladies and gentlemen, Harry Hills in number one car. We'll lead them back to the green. Here we go. Let's see if Anna Greg can get a good run. Yes, indeed, she can. And she's looking on the inside. Pretty much the same thing as we saw last time, but she can't make it though. Oh, she has to look out with that wiggling and stuff because that went wrong last time a lot. And also went wrong under our first course. Sean Howell just a little wiggle and look at this. Hayden Klein and there we got Cassie Spangler. What would it, if Cassie Spangler would win this race? That would mean that she is the second replacement driver winning this race. Well, and on winning a race, and Prudence Little John, she went from being a replacement driver to being a full-time rider, so. Cassie Spangler now fourth position, but Harry Hills is pulling away. Anna Gregg, Hayden Klein under full pressure by Cassie Spangler, Jane Pinter, Nick DePolman, and there we got Joshua Michaels going underneath Mason Wood in the number 99. Had a fairly good run last time, top uh, 10 in eighth position he was. There are Judith Piet, Ray Takeda, runs from 12th to 10th. There Nick Duncan going underneath Dom Caps. Oh, we should stay up front because we always miss those lead changes. Wow, no harm, no foul. Except for that Cassie Spangler now is going underneath the two car of Hayden Klein. Hayden Klein gets past and the caution is out. Caution is out, big stack up over here. And it was involving Zach Sasser, Fiona Renzi. And Jake Williams. Fiona Renzi still honoring Tony Stewart. Well, I'm not sure. Well, she's not having very good runs in the 14 car. May Wilkins already switched rides because she had a bad run first time. And, well, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not sure. Where, where is the 18 actually? May Wilkins, 21st position. Not that good of a run either. Well, look at this. 
I'm not going to go to forward. Ladies and gentlemen, second caution of the day. Let's take a look what happened over here. Bring us in our second caution of the day. Well, they're going three wide over here. And last time it was especially turn number three, which was the trouble spot. And I, if I can remember correctly, it also was for Joseph and Nasser's team, really big trouble spot. And then I think, I think back then it was still best knees drive. Now it is Zach Sasser. And we got Jake Williams on his inside. And Jake Williams is going to drive a little, in too, a little too hard into the corner. And he turns into Zach Sasser. Joseph and Esther goes into the wall. Are you kidding me? Both, both uh, top-notch design car, top-notch racing cars involved in this. I'm trying to get myself used to saying top-notch designs and top-notch top -notch racing. Because, well, the short things. I, uh, Joseph Nesto also asked uh, us if we would say top-notch designs. Well, I kind of can imagine that, so no problem at all there you see another time we should go to another camera angle Joseph Nesso just slides into that what a bad break again both those cars involved that is really not their turn now Zach Sasser I think they're all pretty fine let's take another look oh let's go on board why not on board with Zach Sasser Into the wall, Justin Nestor comes sliding by, Fiona Renzi comes sliding in, and to be honest, I'm not sure where this camera is located. I think just in front of the windshield. Yeah, that's indeed what it, where the camera is located. So in the lead, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Harry Hills take you to the green flag. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with Harry Hills in the lead. Second, we got Anna Gregg. Third is Cassie Spangler. Both of those team of Anna Gregg in second and third position. Hayden Klein in fourth, Jane Pinter in fifth, Nick DiPolmo in sixth position, Joshua Michaels in seventh, Judith Viet in eighth, ninth we got Mason Mood and tenth is Ray Takeda. So that means that still the 38 car is the only car out of the race. Cars involved in last time's crash all in the back of the field. I'm not sure if they made pit stops, so doesn't really matter <laughs> at all actually. I think it, and if they made pit stops, it would be either all three of them or none of them. And I have a feeling that none of them made a pit stop. Nobody's stuck on pit road yet. Yet. <laughs> so Harry Hills in the number one car will lead them back to the green. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The green flag is out. And Anna Gret got a great jump. Let's see what she is going to do. Now she can pull it down the inside of the one car. There she goes. Anna Gret in the 41 car. And let's see if she can try to get K Cassie Spengler to come with her. I don't think so because Hayden Klein is making a move over there. Battling up front for the lead. K Anna Gregg takes it. And now Hayden Klein and Jane Pinter are trying to get to this uh, front as well. To second and third position. Well now they are third and fourth. Cassie Spengler falling back there. And now the one car will fall ba back a little bit over there. Harry Hills falling back now. As Hayden Klein takes second position. And Jane Pinter tries to follow him. Well he's right there. Jane Pinter. And I think Jane Pinter is going to try to make something happen for the lead. No caution in the back of the field we are over here. Some people trying to make their way up to the front. Look at this, Prudence Littlejohn, 19th position. How far she has fallen back. And she's still now in 19th position, I think. Well, that's not possible. She's in 18th position. Well, look at that. Oh, into the wall. We got the one car of Harry Hills. And I screwed up. Oh, man. Stay there. Come on. Well, it doesn't really matter that much. The caution is out, but... Well, Harry Hills has damage. 22nd position. Wow. Harry Hills' bad luck continues. He was running in... Around here. I think he was running in 3rd position, 4th position or so. When all things went wrong for him. Harry Hills in number 1 car. 
leader of most of the laps so far, Anna Grecken, 41 car, is now back in the lead, ladies and gentlemen, third portion of the day, replays. Well, I think that this time it was um, Harry Hills getting loose, but I'm not sure. I don't think that the 55 ran into him. Oh, no. Not at all. Harry Hills just made a mistake on his own part, and Joshua Michaels just getting a little piece over there. Ooh, Mason Wood. Dom Caps. Whoa, that's nerve wracking. There. Oh, Paige Martinez gets into him. But they all seem to make it uh, or past him without that much trouble. A lot of damage to Harry Hills, though, ladies and gentlemen. On board with Harry Hills. Here we go. Ooh, contact the over there. Now three car. So, oh man, you can't see anything. Then the wall. Well, things not very going very well for Harry Hills. From hero to zero in just one turn, ladies and gentlemen. Well, few laps because he already lost the lead, but doesn't matter. Ladies and gentlemen, time to take you now back to the green. Well, we're back again, and actually we are live, and I didn't feel like accelerating the race, so it doesn't matter. Anna Gregg is in the lead, second is Jane Pinter, third is Hayden Klein, fourth we've got Nick DiPalmo, fifth is Ray Takeda, sixth Cassie Spangler, seventh Nick Duncan, and we have a gap. Judith Piet pulling up pit road with possibly a tire issue. Stephen Kimball would be in eighth then, in that place. Ne Nick Pericles in ninth, and tenth Joshua Michaels. Not sure what Judith Piet's her problem is and I hope for her that she can make it out of pit road we're going to see she's now in front of the leader well she was in second oh the car is making the bouncy move again I have a bad feeling about that but we'll see if she can continue her way otherwise tough luck for her um, I was starting to um, well I'm going to tell you a little bit what we're going to do with my seat well very shortly because we're almost going green flag racing um these i have three more weeks for four more races in the dirt ringer series so i'm going to do all those within a couple of three or the, within the next three weeks make that two and a half weeks and um phillips cup series race will be tomorrow starbucks Super speedway race will be friday then in that case and otherwise saturday i but that's a planning and I can't really keep myself to planning because I had planned to do this race Sunday and uh, Phillips Cup Series race yesterday, so. Oh well, green flag racing, Anna Greg and Judith Piat still on pit road and we got somebody else on pit road. Uh, Sean Howell, there you see he is retired. And I think it's somebody else is also on pit road as we got Hayden Klein here trying to get to second position. But can't make it yet. Looking down the inside of Jane Pinter. And I want to see who those people are. There's Paige Martinez in the three car. Who's also um, stuck over there on pit road. Heartbreak for... Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's just me screwing up. Doesn't matter. Hayden Klein is now in second position. And here comes Ray Takeda. The Japanese driver in her first full season. And she is going to the second place. Ray Takeda. Great finish last time, fourth. And now she is looking for second position. Well, she has second position. And she's looking to get a win. What would that be for her? As Anna Greg is still in the lead. Ever since Harry Hills had his problems, nothing has really happened uh, to her with losing the lead. Only di uh, difficult thing would be for her if there would be another caution, which I'm pretty sure there will be. How many cautions did we have? Three or four? I think three cautions. Yeah, three cautions so far. So, chance that we have one more caution, one or two more cautions is pretty high. So, as now Nick Duncan has moved to third position. We haven't really talked about him all that much. He had a pretty bad. Well, he was in 16th last time. There you see Nick Perry Cleese is making a move down the inside of uh, Nick DiPolmo. Oh, two Nicks in the field. Actually, I wanted to say Nick DePolmo, but I said Nick Pericles. But it doesn't matter because Nick Pericles is right behind him. 
And now on his inside, Nick Pericles in the number 357 is going to, what would that be? Fifth position, I think. Yes. There he goes. Jane Pinter, Joshua Michaels in the train there with also Nick DePolmo right there. There's Stephen Kimmel in the 21 car having a good run. Pull winners. And there we have her. May Wilkins in the 18 car using some of that Kyle Busch power. And apparently it is working here in the later stages of this race. Pool winners falling back. Mason with Jared Steinmist and Debbie Myers. Haven't really talked about them all that, or at least about um, about Jared Steinmist that much. There's Jared Steinmist 20th last time, not very good. There Debbie Myers, actually uh, Blomqvist. Edward Blomqvist had a seventh place finish last time and she's also going to the front. Although she has a little bit of damage, she was in the rear of the field while the Jamie World magic is working for her, apparently. And her birthday uh, magic is also working, so that's great news for her. Inga Lambliana, we have Fiona Renzi also having a good, fairly good run trying to get to the front. There we got Dom Caps, Drew Austin and Aileen Souten trying to get by Drew Austin there. Joseph Ernesto having a pretty bad race. Jake Williams, excuse me. Jake Williams over there. Sam Brady all involved. Or at least uh, Sam Brady not. But J uh, Drake, Jake Williams had, had some issues. Kevin Waters after second place finish last time. Not very good. And there's our last time's winner. Zero car of Prudence Lil John 25th. Ouch. Zach Sasser, Harry Hills. And there we have Cassie Spengler. Well, she has damage. And the caution is not out, so I'm pretty curious what that is all about. Ladies and gentlemen, we've completely missed that Ray Takeda had taken the lead. Ray Takeda battling it out with the 41 car of Anagrak. But she's on that high side. I don't think she can make it. They are still side by side, though. And that is good news for du Nick Duncan. Maybe he can get towards them. With less than 10 laps to go, Ray Takeda, Japanese driver, battling it out with Anagrak, the two ladies. Battling it out for this win. Anna Greg has it now back again. Ray Takeda had it and she is fast. Let's see what Ray Takeda can do. Well, now she has a gap. And she is a little further behind Anna Greg. But maybe she can get towards her when I skip to the back. I won't do that. Well, that's kind of stupid. I keep on missing these lead changes. Well, actually, everything else has settled down a little bit. Except for in the back when they go side by side and you can see indeed Cassie Spengler has damage I'm not sure what happened to her was off camera and I also didn't know don't know if it was under caution or if it um, was just well, I have no clue what happened so we got space car in the lead Anna Gregg in the lead uh, second Ray Takeda third Nick Duncan Nick Duncan trying to make something happen on Ray Takeda and there are Hayden Klein, Nick DePolmo in 5th position, but Joshua Michaels is getting a good run over here. Joshua Michaels working his way to the front in the final lat or the latter stages of this race. Making it down the inside of Nick DePolmo, there he goes to the front. Stephen Kimball, Nick Perry Cleese, Jane Pinter and Paul Winters, ba Paul Winters battling with May Wilkins for the 10th position. Last position in the top 10, and the top 10 is important. Well, it's just important every single place counts. And we have a caution. We have a caution for Sam Brady, who was involved in the wreck together with Aileen de Suiter. And this might be the end of the race. Or are we going to have one another one-lap shootout? If, I'm go if we're going to have another one-lap shootout, I'm going to scream. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, Anna Greg in the lead. Is she going to win this race or not? We are not sure. We will see in a few moments, but first we'll go to the replay. We are back again with Sam Brady in the 51 car, 52 car. <laughs> We're going to have some issues there. Uh, Harry Hills on this inside, no problems though. Just gets loose. An alien decides to run into him. Pretty much nowhere to go for her. Sam Brady. Spins around. Ooh, almost gets hit there by Michael Crack on there. I'm not sure if he hit her, but we'll see what the onboard will do in a few moments. First, Elena Suiter there. 
Well, you see pretty much nowhere to go, just hits him. Slides into the wall, continues away, but loses a lot of position and has damage. So, I heard somebody scrape the wall, that must be Alina Sizer. Yes, indeed. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going on board with Sam Brady in 52 car. <coughs> oh, so, I mean, jo John Cittadino has been complaining about being ill a little bit. Uh, over the past few days and he has a sore throat well I am well I'm pretty fine though well Judith, Judith is also has a little bit of a cold so maybe she is she has brought a little t of that to me but well don't mind at all Sam Brady involved in this wreck as he spins around hits the wall and then gets hit by Elin Suiter and spins around for ow actually Michael Crack on hit him actually. Okay, so doesn't matter. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam Brady is in 28th position. And Anna Craig is in the lead. Are we going green flag or not? That's the question. We'll see, ladies and gentlemen, in a few moments. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have entered the final lap, and we are still under caution. So no no pretty much like no one shootout this time we have our winner over here the 41 car of Anna Greg after finishing in 28th position last time at Fonda Speedway Anna Greg is going to pick up her second career dash car win in one of my series and last time was at Bristol Phillips Cup Series season 4 she has not won in seven or eight months or so Anna Greg in a 41 car she's going to pick up her first dirt ringer series win and not only that she's going to pick up her second career win in one of my series I'm not sure if she has won in Jane Pinter's series or any other dance car series but she is proving that she's a great race car driver and ladies and gentlemen Anna Greg in the 41 car is going to win it over here at Orange County Fairground Speedway Ooh, that's a shame. Come on. <laughs> that's always so funny on these dirt tracks. And when they finish under caution, they are just com going completely nuts and running into each other, breaking suddenly like, whoa. I'm not sure why, but it doesn't matter, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if the stands are official. They are indeed <laughs> the pair. Apparently only 16 cars have finished on the lead lap, but that's not true. We all know that uh, everybody except for Judith Piet, Paige Martinez and Sean Howell finished on the lead lap. Sam Brady, last car on the lead lap. These, so just ignore these. Oops, that was my lamp. Well, not my lamp, but the lamp. Excuse me for excuse this standings over here. As we have 28 cars on the lead lap. Fairly calm race, though a couple of cautions, not a lot of DNFs. Two cars bouncing and doing weird things on pit road. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, Anna Gregg in the 41 car has finally won her second race and she was looking for it. I can tell you that only race track or only uh, series she still needs to win in is the Starbucks Super Speedway series, at least of my series. And, well, pretty much the same thing is for Joseph Van Nesto. Except for that he only has to win in the Phillips Cup Series. Ironically, that is the series he has been in longest. So, Anna Gregg has something with second ra with uh, second races of the season. As it was also the second Phillips Cup Series race at Bristol. She won in Season 4. And now she has won the second race over here in Orange County. Ray Takeda in an 11 car picks up her second top 5 win. Fourth last time, this time second. I am speechless. Really great job by her. Some Japanese dirt racing. And I'm pretty sure that she's going to be the new points leader. So look for Ray Takeda as being the first Japanese driver who is in the points lead. Well, that's amazing. Nick Duncan in the 87 car. Great finish for him in third position. Hayden Klein in fourth in the number two car. That is also Hayden Klein's second top five finish. He finished in fifth position last time. So he might be second in points now. And Justin Michaels in the 17 car. Great finish for him in 5th position, his first top 5 of the season, first top 10 of the season, first top 15 of the season. 
Nick De Palmo in the number 55 car in sixth position. Great job by him. His first top 10 in the season or off the season. And S Stephen Kimball in the number 21 car in seventh position. Great job by him. Nick Pericles with his first top 10. In eighth position, Jane Pinter in the 16 car. Another great race for him. Well, another last time he finished. Oh, 11th. So that's fairly fine. Um, in a 16 car in ninth position he is pool winners in, in 10th position let's see we got may wilkins in 11th in her new car well some people racing around the racetrack that makes sense i think they're just make having giving some show to the fence or so i'm not sure i think it was aileen south and sam brady so well, well oh 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 my goodness and aileen south has hit the pit wall Oh wow! Great catch. I'm not sure how and why and stuff. But oh well. Let's see. Uh, final. We were talking about. Let's see. Debbie Myers, birthday girl, in 16th position. Well, well, that's her second top 20 or the second top 20 of the car in this series. So, well, she will be in top 10 in points, I think, or just outside top 10. Just NASA 17th. Uh, let's see we got the zero car prunes little john in 23rd position bad race for her uh, well 23rd would be pretty good in the phillips cup series and starbucks super speedway series but not here prunes little john kevin waters in 21st position not good inga lambliana third place she finished last time 15th now and then um ray tackett and hayden klein we already had discussed 24 car Nicole Trenum, which actually had a sixth place finish last time. I didn't know that. She f now it was Cassie Spangler, and she finished in 25th position. Though Cassie Spangler will um, all the points she gets will go to Nicole Trenovich, and if Nicole Trenovich would not have come back, all the points Nicole Trenovich had will go to Cassie Spangler. But um, Cassie Spangler most likely will be in this car for I think two or three races or so. So. Uh, let's see, 19 car already discussed. 99, Mason Wood, uh, now in 14th position while well, he finished 8th last time. Great job. Oh, more cars. Oh, there's Prunes Little John. Our little Prunes Little John making some uh, grunts around the racetrack. Great race she had last time, not this time. And she's smoking heavily. And she's going to pull on pit road, I hope. No, she is not. Ha, <laughs> lol. <laughs> I'm not sure what she's doing, but well, it doesn't matter. Just giving some smoke show to the people, which I think is not supposed to happen. But anyway, um, 61 car Zach Sasser was 10th in points, not very good for him. I'm pre pretty much sure that we have discussed everything now. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for watching. Remember, Phillips Cup Series race tomorrow. And if this, that's only if this is going to be uploaded today, which I'm pretty sure. I, th I think I can do that. I'm not sure, but we'll see later. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you next time. We will go to Canandaigua for the Starbucks 280. The third race of the season. After that, we're already halfway. Well, really goes fast. New points leader, Ray Takeda. Congratulations, Anna Greg, of to winning this race. And we'll see you next time in the NASCAR Starbucks Super Speedways. No. <laughs> What? The NASCAR Shell Dirt Ringer Series Season 2 2013 Summer Series. Whoa! Shoo!